YouTube, welcome back to the Situation Series. Today's situation, we're taking a look at Endgame. How do we get more wins in Warzone? Here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna share my top three tips with you and then take you through two late game situations where we are actually able to get the win. This way you can see some examples, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into my top three tips for winning more games of Warzone. Tip number one, clear out a side. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's take this situation right here. Obviously, we're looking late game, one a smaller circle or even a decent sized late game circle. But point being is you're right here. You have a team on both X's. Now, if you try to fight both teams at the same time, you're probably going to lose. And it doesn't matter what game mode. Team is a general term for the game mode you're playing. So this could be solo on each side of you in solos. It could be quads and you have a team over here and a team over here. If you try to fight both at the same time, it's a recipe for disaster. Instead, I recommend clearing out a side. So either kill the team to the left or kill the team to the right. And at that point, once you're over here, now you have everything in front of you because you've cleared out here, right? You came from this side, you killed this team, and now you can see everything in front of you. So tip number one is clear out a side. Tip number two, where is your cover? As you see where the circle is moving, as the circle is coming in, I want you to be thinking ahead and thinking about where your cover is. If you're caught out in the open, you're going to get torched by a team that has everything in front of them. So I want you to pay attention to where your cover is. Are you rotating to a building? Are you rotating behind a rock? Are you holding cover behind a tree? No matter what it is, pay attention to where that cover is. Number three, rotate or hold. You'll actually see this situation come up as I break down both late games. Rotate or hold. Are you going to rotate early and get to a position to hold a team? Or are you going to hold your spot, hold your ground, and hold the team that way? And you're going to, as I said, you're going to see examples of both of these. So let's get into it. First up situation here. Now, we have fifth circle. It hasn't started closing yet. We've got 24 up. We're all, we're all alive. We have a UAV. So we're still playing a little bit aggressive here since there's 24 people up. But we're going to go clear, start to clear out this left side up here. So as we're approaching this, we obviously have radar up. We see one guy right here. He goes down. I see the second guy right here. He gets run over by Bertha. And I see this last guy up here. And again, they're all on radar. Now, this team's wiped, but look, there could still be another team back here kind of lingering around. Uh, we haven't cleared out kind of this side of port, the back side around vacant and stuff, but we have 20 people left or 17 other people besides us. So we're going to go ahead and use this car to keep rotating. That's not a major tip, but I would say using cars to rotate makes everything much, much, much easier. And you'll see why as, as this game kind of progresses. So now we're going to go ahead and push up. I see this sniper right here. Guys, watch this shot by Desania. Bing! Bye-bye. The little jump shot over. At this point, Tommy and I go ahead and full send this in. We push in as a team, right? At that point, they're just, they're dead. There's nothing they can do. Now we go ahead and, and as I said, we haven't really cleared out. We, we came from over here, right? So we should know this is clear, although there could be a late team rotating. And we haven't really checked this side at all right near this kind of warehouse building. So we're just trying to be weary. Tommy thought he heard somebody, but there ended up not being anybody in this building. Boom. Circle just closed, right? So I immediately check, okay, where do we want to be? Where do we want to be? Now, if we were to just rotate in here, we would be stuck out in the open. So we definitely don't want to be there. So we're going to hop in Bertha and try to get to those buildings that are in circle. Desenia is pushing up over here. He's keeping his cover, though. He's not stuck out in the open. He's got a fence there. He's got some of these containers. He's going to see what he can find and, and try to get maybe maybe a little snipe, maybe a down to start the fight. Because we know it. We know there's a lot of people over here. Quick numbers check. There's four teams, nine people left. Okay, so now he's in. We're going to rotate over and just keep in mind, clear out a side. We still haven't really cleared out this side yet. There could still be people lingering around here. Uh, it's a little bit unlikely, but there could be. And we want to keep in mind that if they do have to rotate in, they're going to end up rotating into this viaduct, which makes them easy free kills. Now we see this guy right here. 
Desanya gets that down, and I get torched. So that's not a good start to the fight. I'm already out. Tommy goes down here. Desanya gets hurt, and I believe he gets thirsted. Tommy does. I go ahead and get that kill, but precision airstrike on us. Tommy is now full dead. That was a waste of a precision airstrike on their end. I mean, we're inside the building, so unless there's some cheeky reason it hits us, we're really okay here. And we both do have self-revive. Now, rotate or hold. Do we rotate in here? Or do we hold this guy that's right here that we know is still back there? We actually hear him out here to our left. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this. I don't know if he's going to loop around, play gas mask. So I'm just going to hold this side. If anybody's coming here, they're dead because they have no other choice but to come to me. Now at this point, I rotate in. I almost make a mistake here switching guns. I thought he was going to be in that door, but that was just kind of crazy movement. And Desenia comes one more, one more. He, he thought there was one more out here. So I'm going to go ahead and get in circle. He's right behind me. And we go ahead and push into this building. Now we have a little bit of cover. It's not like we have a ton of cover, but we have enough. Boom. Circle closes. Rotate or hold. What's the play here? Do we rotate out into the viaduct? Or do we hold the teams that are over here? Now at this point, we're at two teams, six people. This was trio, so it's two full teams of three. He goes ahead and gets a down here. Now that's a big down. And there's a lot of room on this side. There's not much on this side. So at this point, we're kind of guessing they're over here. I try to thirst his kill with the airstrike here, but it won't let me. Of course, everybody's ghosted. So, rotate or hold. We're going to rotate. We're going to play our chances in the viaduct. There is a little, uh, like, cutout area that we can use for cover. I'm going to go ahead and play my gas mask here. Kind of stay in a spot where they're not expecting me to, so I can, it allows me to rotate over, and I'm actually going to grab these plates. At the end of the day, I had two plates before. Now I have, when it's all said and done and I get into zone, I actually picked up two extra plates here. So I'm just trying to get into this area right here so we have cover. Now, we know one of them, the person that dissing you downed, is up here. We know he's up there, so he's trying to snipe him. I'm keeping an eye out. This is what I call, specifically when fighting this guy right here, this is what I call a no-down situation. I can, neither of us can go down in this situation. Now, it's a little bit different because we do have self-revive, but the moment you go down, a good team is going to all-out push you, especially late game. So this is what I call a no-down situation. Just can't go down. So at this point, we got a cluster. It's kind of all over the place. Clusters are wild. But notice we hard split a little bit here. So he's going to cover this right side. And this is why we rotated early. Clear out a side, right? We know there's nobody back here. There's nobody that can come from port. So we're playing that everybody is right in front of us, right? And we want to cut them off. They got to rotate. We want to cut them off, keep cover, but make it so it's very difficult for them to rotate in. And I even go to the point where I know this guy's jumping from this building. There's got to be a team over here somewhere. So I'm going to preemptive airstrike this. And now, look at our spacing here. We're both angled right here, right? This side's all cleared, right? If you were to cut this circle, you would have like a quarter of the circle left that they can fit into with no cover, right? We've cleared all of this, and we have perfect positioning here. He goes down. One kill. Two kill. Team wipe. One left. dead easy easy win right there and that's where you go look at the three things clear out a side which we consistently did where's your cover we paid attention to our cover we went from port to the building to the viaduct with the little outlet and then we slowly pushed up kind of playing the hill to our advantage knowing that they couldn't really push us except being pushed out in the open and third one being rotator hold Sorry about that. Rotator hold, which this situation we rotated. Okay, before we jump into the second part, if you do like this content, make sure you like the video. My goal for today is 25 likes, so let's see if we can hit it. And make sure you share with a teammate so that they know how to win more as well. Okay, let's get into it. So kicking it off, here's what our final circle looks like. Well, fifth circle. Obviously, train is heavily in. There's a lot of cover there. There's a little bit of cover here at Boneyard. So I go ahead and make the comment that we want to be over at train. 
So we're going to go ahead again, using car to rotate foot's always dangerous. Now I want to point something out here. We're trying to get to kind of this advantageous spot right here. We're not going to clear out this side. So to say, you know, we're not going to pinwheel this in pinwheeling is basically just following gas to get into circle. We're going to go ahead and kind of push in and hold that spot. Now I see this guy right here. I calm him out. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this guy. But unfortunately, Ron does go down here. So we do get this thirst, go ahead and get that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover here. Tommy goes down as well. Now Dayton is rezzing Ron as we do that. I hear that guy coming. So I go ahead and take care of him. And then there's actually a guy creeping up here that Ron comms. So I'm gonna go ahead and challenge him. Unfortunately, just missed a few bullets. We talk about movement, that guy had really good strafing. But at the end of the day, Tommy goes ahead and gets him. Dayton gets the finish. Yep, Dayton gets the finish. So. Ron's getting rezzed. I'm going to go ahead and get covered. And we still haven't cleared out this side. So there could be people in here, you know, of course, in this building or maybe even back here. This is actually a great end circle. This one gets a little bit crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and creep into here. Ron and Tommy are going to cover for Dayton and I as I played up and as Dayton hits the res. The action is about to begin. So we know there's people up top here and they actually make a crucial mistake that costs them this game that we actually take advantage of, which allows us to win. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can find here. We're trying to figure out whether we wanna push up or not. The stairwell is a really dangerous push here. Of course, getting over here is my favorite jump spot, which Tommy's currently doing, but the stairs are a tough push here. So I see him. I'm trying to push around the building but unfortunately can't get there. Now we have really good cash flow. So I'm gonna go ahead and give up. It's not worth them coming to res me and pushing out in, into the open. And I'd come, hey, you can actually buy me back if you can get there. So as you can see here, Dayton's actually pushing over to res me. And one thing I haven't talked about much, but you know, just throughout the game, late game, it's a little bit easier, but you need to remember where you kill people. Because in this case, I can't get my stuff over here. So I have to go ahead and drop. But I know that we killed a team right here. So let's talk about clearing out a side, right? So now we know this side is clear. There's still a team up top. We have plenty of cover. Now, rotator hold, right? Point number three, rotator hold. First game, Desang and I rotated and held the team because they had to push to us, right? But... In this case scenario, we can't rotate to anywhere. If we rotate, we're going to be out in the open here. So we're going to play this wall, actually, and kind of play gas a little bit. In this situation, we're going to hold. Their fatal mistake was they should have pushed over onto this side of train. Uh, Dayton and I here are just checking stairwell, making sure they're not going to come down. Notice Tommy's still up top here. So Tommy did the right thing, whereas this team has to jump. So we're going to go ahead. I don't get any tags on this guy, but the second guy is jumping. And just a quick check right as I get torched here. Still 11 people alive. So four, uh, three other teams, seven other people at this point. Tommy's still above us, and we're just playing this wall as cover. I mean, everybody else is kind of out in the open here, spread out, but we're playing that cover. So Tommy's taking care of people. Ron's taking care of people. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, we went from 11 people alive to six people alive. We went from seven enemies to two enemies. And now this is a pretty easy game right here. Notice me, Don, uh, sorry, me, Dayton, and Ron are playing the wall here. Tommy's playing up top. But we have so much cash. And as you know, when you go back to the lobby, you can't keep your cash flow for next game. So you might as well spend it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy plates, buy a gas mask if I need it, pop UAV. We see the one dot up here. So we're going to go ahead and push. And I want to highlight one more thing before this game ends. Right about, we'll pause it here. Look at our spacing, right? So we have Ron right here. We've got Tommy right here. We got Dayton right here. And I'm coming from this angle. So look, it's a 4v2. They pretty much have no shot, but we're, we're going to spread wide here. We don't want to take a chance with a precision airstrike hitting us. We don't want to take a ch chance of them collateraling us. So we're going to spread wide a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and take care of business with this one. Hit that guy, immediately turn. Hit that guy. As I said, the FFAR is broken or was broken during this time. So that was a pretty easy win right there. But let's go back to our three points, right? 
clear out a side. Now, we didn't clear out the side originally, and that team rotated to us from behind and almost killed us. But once we took care of that team, we were, we were able to kind of clear out that left side by the wall, kill the team above us, and then push the team out in, in the field. Point number two, where is your cover? Again, we played that back wall. We were playing cover with the car, with the crates in that first initial fight. So throughout it, we constantly knew where the cover was, and we were playing that to our advantage. Point number three is rotator hold. In this situation, you saw why it was so important to hold our position instead of rotating. So go ahead and implement those. As I said, make sure you share this video with a teammate and make sure you hit that thumbs up button. The goal for today is 25 likes. And as I always say, let's get better today and subscribe for more.